Hey guys, it is the uh, Harry here, uh, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to create your own PHP database. Uh, well, in my using MySQL and PHP. Uh, now, basically, if you don't know what this is, this will allow you to create an online user database for your app. And if you have a game, this would be really useful for uh, showing a high scoreboard. Um, so. Uh, right when, uh, so I'm going to assume that you have a hosting account. Right now, I'm on Super Green Hosting, um, which is good, but it's very expensive. So uh, I recommend Host MTC. You can buy domains with file servers. You need a file server for this, um, and make sure that it has PHP admin and everything. Uh, so if you go to Host MTC, MTC. MTC so I can't get my words out, really. And if you go to their website, hostmtc.com, I believe, then you can get do quality domains and file servers for around $10. So, uh, this, this is the main C panel. This is basically what you'll see on every single hosting service. Uh, it's called C panel. Just about every hosting service is used the same one. So, you're going to want to go into my SQL databases. Uh, and so I have a few for different things that I've made. And so I want to add a new database to this. And what our database is going to be called is whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to call it tutorial. Oops, sorry, tutorial. Uh, create database. Okay, so then. And we are going to have to add a user. So Harry S to data. You have to add a user to your database to be able to use it. Um, you can create new users over here, and then you want to add it to the database. Database, database, whatever you want to call. Add. I'm going to give it all privileges so that you can add stuff and get stuff and all that. Okay. Now that we've done that. You're going to want to go over to your PHP My Admin. Uh, this will be in your C panel. If you go to Home, and it should be under Databases and PHP My Admin. I already have a window open, so I'll just close that and go over here. So, if you reload that page or whatever, uh, and you'll see our new database tutorial. So there are no tables in there. Tables are the places that store the information. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to create one table called users with two fields in it uh, for your username and password. You could add three if you wanted to save your email too. It's a username and password. Username is text, it is not an int. Text. Uh, so you can just save that and you're done with that. So now there's a users table that pops up over here. And so now if you go back to tutorial home, you want to create another for the stats of that user. And uh, we're just going to have two fields uh, for the username of the person that has that high score and then the score. Username is text, the score is an integer. Save. And there we go, we've created our tables. And so now we want to go to. Uh, I thought I had a window open for that. No. So you want to go to your file manager over here. Okay, and you want to go to public HTML, then you want to create a new folder for what you're making, so let's make a folder called tutorial, and then I'll find it, and in tutorial we will have nothing, and so what you're going to want to add is a file called create user.php. And now, 
Uh, what this is, is when you make your app, uh, this is the easiest way to do it, or in my opinion. Uh, you're just going to create a web view in the background and load this page in the background with uh, the user's information. So, uh, whenever you start a PHP file, you want to create the PHP brackets. No. Okay, so in here, uh, we want to get the main, uh, we want to connect to the database. So what we're going to do is we start off every PHP command with a little symbol out there. And we uh, want to do my SQL connect and then these little parentheses there. And in those parentheses, you want to start putting your commands for the, or criteria for connecting to the database. And so you'll need three things. You'll need the host, uh, and the host for just about everything unless you're creating a database on a local computer, uh, which I'm not going to do in this tutorial because I'm just going to assume that you are creating it on your server. So the host is most likely going to be local host, unless you've changed it. Uh, and then the username is whatever you want to call it. I think my username is Harry S. And there we go. And I believe my password is pudding. Don't ask why, just for fun. Uh, User. Hey. Hmm. Whenever I guess I just have to guess and find out. Note, it's a good idea to write down your password. Okay, so after you've connected to the database, uh, then you're going to want to run, uh, then you want to connect to uh, the database, or now that you've connected to your server, you want to connect to your database. So, what you're going to want to do is MySQL mm -hmm. uh, correct db for database. And in here, you're going to want to put your database name. And so, uh, our database name is to oh yeah. Sorry, I'm not the greatest with a keyboard, just to let you guys know. So, um, then what you're going to want to do is, uh, I'm just going to write this out and explain it in a sec. So, the name, so this is basically like a variable. If you've worked with other programs, you'll know what a variable is. I'm just going to explain it. A variable is uh, a... Uh, what, in PHP, you can make it whatever you want. Uh, in C++, uh, for iPhone programming, so you'll have to define it a variable as an integer or a string or whatever. In PHP, you just create the variable and then type in whatever kind of uh, information you want, and then PHP will then determine what kind of variable it is, which is nice. Oh, uh, one sec, I just noticed that uh, I messed up the select database name. Uh, what you're going to want to do is um, put your database, uh, like the actual database thing, or whatever you call this in front of it, whatever your username that is, I, I believe, Harry Low 2 for Harry Works, and then I don't know why that is a 2. But so that's how I would connect to the database. You have to find out your database name and put it here. Um.